First John, John 1, 6 to 8. A man named John was sent from God. He came as a witness to testify concerning the light. So that through him, everyone will believe in the light. He himself was not the light. But his mission was to testify concerning the light. This is John's testimony when the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem sent a priest and Levites to ask him, Who are you? John confessed. He did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. They asked him, Then who are you? Are you Elijah? John said, I'm not. Are you the prophet? John asked him, No. Then they asked, Who are you? We need to give an answer to those who sent us. Those sent by the Pharisees asked, Why do you baptize if you're not the Christ? No Elijah, nor the prophet. John answered, I baptize with water. Someone greater stands among you whom you don't recognize. He comes after me, but I will not be worthy to untie his seven scraps. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just say thank you. John was a little bit different because he had the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. See, what happens is the reason why we get into a lot of stuff that we get into today because we don't have an indwelling right. of the Holy Spirit. But this happened to be a time when we didn't even know anything about the Holy Spirit because Jesus had not yet. But he still had the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. So we're talking about John, and, and we're talking about the light night. And the second verse said, and he came as a witness to testify concerning the light. What bothered me in this whole scripture is the light. And, that, and what it was was the light reflection of the, uh, uh, from the fire. It got the people through. And I said, well, this, 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 this light must be re really powerful because it, it was able to guide people through. And I just I believe today that a lot of us are living near the light, but don't have the light inside of you. This light has to be in your hurts and in your pains. The Bible says today is that he came as a witness to, uh, to testify concerning the light so that through him everyone would believe in the light. See, the problem is I don't believe that everyone believes the light. Y'all look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> I, I just don't believe it because if, if, if everyone believed in the light, there would be a lot more chairs filled in this church today. Mm. There will there'll be a lot more people who believe in God. There will be a lot more people chasing after God or, or God letting God catch them. But I believe what happens is that we stop at a certain point. We'll say, Lord, I'm just going to come to church and I'm just see that little bit of light of you. I'm not going to stop my sin, but I'm just going to be here uh, 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 in the church. This light has to penetrate. And when I mean penetrate, I mean to go through you and come out the other side. See, some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about today because when I'm talking about light, y'all think I'm crazy. But listen, he himself wasn't the light. John is already explaining to the Pharisees and, his, and the, uh, the priests and the Levites that I'm not the light, but my mission was to testify concerning the light. He's saying that I'm not the light and I, I, I'm testifying concerning the light. And my question is to you, what is your mission and what are you testifying for? Hmm. Mm. We come to church every Genesis has been in existence over 23 years. This just happened to be the first building that we actually have, have was able to accomplish. What has been your mission? And during that time of your mission, what 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 are you testifying saying? Are you saying your mission was just to, to, to play instruments all your life? Have we even came up with a mission? Do we even want a mission? Are we trying to tell God, God, I'm just going to live until you come, and then I'm going to go back home with you? What is our mission? What are we doing to help God to draw people closer to him or closer to the light? What are we doing? Are we doing anything at all to draw people? Uh, Paul said, I, I don't have a one mission. And that mission is to, to, to cry out in the wilderness. But my question is, I have for our church today, what is our mission? God has blessed up your facility. We got clean bathrooms. We got chairs to sit in. We, we, we got air conditioning. We got heat. We got a nice pool to, to sit on. We got good cushion chairs. Everybody's feeling comfortable today. But what is our mission? 
Or are we just going to sit here and look good and then everybody be on YouTube looking good in the congregation? But what is our mission? What are we going to do? Paul had his mission, but what is yours? Y'all looking at me like I'm crazy right now, but that's okay. It'll, it'll catch up with you in about another 20 minutes. But what is your mission? Have you decided what are you going to do for the Lord? Are you deciding what are you going to do for God? Some of us have gifts. Some of us have gifts to sing. Some of us have gifts to pray. Some of us have gifts to play. Some of us have gifts to, to talk with people. Some of us have gifts to, 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 to uh, help people. Some of us have, have gifts to go to the hospital. Some of us have all kinds of gifts. But what is your mission? What are you going to do for God? Now that he has blessed you in this place. Oh, I'm going to come out to the church and help do things. What is your mission? How are you going to show God that you deserve the place where you are today? How are you going to do it? The scripture she's talking. John said that this is, a, this is the John's testimony when the Jewish leaders in the Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask him, who are you? And that is the question I'm asking you today. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? We already know you already say you love God because you wouldn't be here today. But besides that, who are you? Do you really know who you are? Y'all know what I'm saying? That you know, mm -hmm. most churches. Every person in this church is a bad and has bad. Every person who has contributed to this church has helped to the success of the church. Every one of y'all. Some have gained more than, uh, than, than others, but every penny counts. So nobody is disregarding that. But what I'm saying to you, now that God has shown you his strength and his might, what are you going to do now? There's a lot of other people wishing they were in the same position that we are today. There's a lot of other churches that's trying to strive to, be in, to, to have their own building, not to be ready, not to be in the situation they have. They are in now. They are having functions twice and three times a week to raise money to get their own building. Doing, but God has blessed us to achieve something like that. What are we going to do with it? What are we going to? What are we going to do? How are we going to help the community in this area? How are we going to be the light for people to be drawn to us when they come through their, these doors? Are we going to be able to to uh, show them love? Or are we going to show them attitude? So, so, so God has put a, a, a huge responsibility on the people of this church. Not just to come in and enjoy the conference, but to enjoy the conference and go out and reach people and bring them in. We have a neighborhoods of people over here that child start killing each other every day. We got people, uh, uh, kids are not going to school, kids are not learning. There's so much work to do, but what are we going to do? We're going to go out there and reach the world and let them know there's a light at 1601 49th Street. And my thing is that this Holy Spirit cannot just hit you on the outside. And that's what, most, what it's doing to most of us. It's just hitting us on the surface. But what God is trying to say today, I don't need to just hit you on the surface. I need to go through you. Because if I go through you, I get all that baggage out of that. That, that little wagon that you can carry all your life. That little wagon of pain. That little wagon of hurt. That little wagon of, of my station Or somebody raped me. That little wagon of my father who wasn't there when I was a child. That, that, that hurt of my mother wasn't there as a child. Or my family don't can't get along with me. He said today, if you allow him to, I can go through that hurt. I can go through that pain. If you just trust me. See, first of all, we want to deny we hurt. All of us are hurt. I'm hurt right now. I might not be hurt internally, but my back shows up is hurt right now. For being on top of this room. You think just because of how you see this is what this is what kills us. That only you can look in the inside and not me. Yes. See from the outside, all y'all look good. Hmm. From the outside, y'all look funny. Y'all nice clothes. You know y'all y'all look good. But if I was to open the inside, wow, wow. And if God would just let me keep a little bit, I ain't got to stay long. I, I ain't got to stay long in the inside. 
But God said, in order for you to be the people that I need you to be, I need you whole in the inside, and I need you whole on the outside. And see what's in there so I can clean it up. Because see, you only don't allow me on the outside. You only let me deal with your bills and your water bill and your electric bill. But what about what about the night when you are crying? You don't want me to deal with that. You, you don't want me to deal with your discipline and your, your attitude. You don't want me to deal with that. But God is saying today, this life is a penetrating life. I use life for direction. God to show me the way. Let me follow your footsteps. I need for that. I, I need your life for God. Give, give it at you, Lord. But sometimes. I need your directions on some hurts and some pain inside of me. Yes, That's what I need. I, I, you know, I know everybody want to talk about that. Y'all probably looking at me like you're crazy, but some of y'all, I can just feel it. Yeah. We have so much inner hurt yes. that we can't really function yeah. like we could function oh, yeah. if we didn't have it. Yeah. It's burdened us down. It, 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 it's burning us down and it, it, it's causing us not to be the people that God wants us to be because we still hurt. Some of us are hurt. We we hurt, we're going through it inside, and nobody don't know. Except God. And God has said today, if you just allow the light in here. You know, if you allow the light in here just for a little bit, it ain't got to stand there long. You know, they got some stuff now, they got the laser. You ain't got to touch it no more. They, they just laser through. And God said today, if you allow the light to hit you. A lot of light, it go through just a little bit. Yeah. You know, I, I, I see how y'all look on the outside. But y'all got some pains and hurts in your body. I can't sleep at night. I said, Lord, you got to help me. You got to go all through me. I don't mind telling God, God, I, need to, I am too weak to do this by myself. I need your strength.
See you.